everybody. It's Leslie from Scrapping Life Away. And I am taking part in a hashtag event called um, Get to Know You or something like that. Anyway, um, I think it's a great idea. So that way, number one, you all get to see my face instead of just my hands. Um, and I think it's a great way for you all to get to know us, YouTube creators. Um, there were a couple of people there that were doing this and there were like two sets of questions that were going out. So I kind of combined them, um, so that I could let you know the most I can about me with, um, I'm pretty much an open book. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and get started. So we're not here for like 45 minutes because y'all know I like to talk. Okay. So what is my name? My name is Leslie McGrath. Um, what is my nickname? My nickname is Rabbits. Um, my kids have called me that ever since I can remember. They call me Rabbit from Winnie the Pooh. Um, and it's probably because they think I'm mean. <laughs> um, do I like my name? No, I do not. I got made fun of a lot. Um, as a kid, because there's no, Leslie is not a um, common name. When is my birthday? My birthday is September 25th. What are my three favorite colors? Um, teal, pinks, and I would say any kind of metallic colors. I really love the metallics. Um, what are my three favorite quotes? I had to write these down because um, I really kind of had to think about these. My three favorite quotes are number one, forget, blah, 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 get it out here. Forget, I can't talk today. Forget regret or life is yours to miss. There's no day but today. And that is from, um, that's actually a quote from the movie Rent. Um, another one of my favorite quotes is get your big girl panties on. Um, and the other one is suck it up buttercup. Um, let's see. What is your favorite show, TV, YouTube, movie? All right, I'm not going to tell you what my favorite YouTube channels are because there's so many of them. Um, and I can't, there's, there's a couple that come to mind that um, I absolutely love and adore. And, but you know what? There's other people that I really love. It's, it's, that's, I'm just not going to go there. Those that know that I love them dearly know that. Um, but I really love reality TV. I'm a reality TV junkie. Um, my favorite movie, there's two of them, um, Gone with the Wind and the movie Rent. What are three qualities that I like in a best friend? Well, number one, they have to be unconditional. It has to be an unconditional friendship. Um, they need to accept me unconditionally because I will accept you unconditionally. They need to be compassionate. Compassionate, yeah. Really, really, they need to be compassionate. Um, and they need to be thoughtful. You know, and thoughtful without expectation. You know, I, I like to do things without expecting anything in return for my best friend. And, um, so yeah, that, I think that pretty much covers that. What is my dream? My dream would be to make a living crafting and to be able to do it in a way where I didn't resent it. Um, I know some day I love what I do for a living, but there are some days I get up out of bed and I just say, oh my gosh, can I, am I able to do this one more day? Um, and I don't ever want to feel that way about crafting, but I would love to be able to make a living doing it and still love it. Do I make, wear makeup? No. Um, sometimes when I go to work, yes, I do wear makeup. Um, I'd rather not wear makeup. 
just because it's a hassle. And the older I get, the less hassles I want. Um, what makes me cry? Um, that's a tough one because um, I cry real easy. Uh, seeing anybody that is hurt. No, it's my sister on the phone. I have to call her back. I forgot to put my phone on mute. Wait a minute. Or on vibrate. There we go. <laughs> when she sees this video, she's going to go, what are you muting me for? Because I'm taping. Um, what makes me cry? Seeing, um, seeing somebody um, get hurt. Not necessarily physically hurt. Um, or not in... Yes, I hate seeing someone physically getting hurt, but someone getting their feelings hurt or um, somebody that's in a lot of pain, whether it be emotional pain or physical pain, um, that will make me cry. And um, in the kind of job that I have, um, either you laugh or you cry. And we do a little bit of both. What makes me angry? <laughs> Intolerance drives me crazy. Um, you don't have to agree with somebody on something, but you need to be tolerant. You need to be accepting. And I don't care whether that's your religion, if that's your sexuality, or if that's your politics. Um, I don't care. You, I hate intolerance. I can't stand it. Um, bigotry. I, it just, it, it, it really gets me going. And the other thing that really makes me angry is a liar. Can't stand it. And I'm talking, even if you take the truth and add just a little bit of an untruth in there, that's a lie. And then you lose my trust. And when you lose my trust, um, that's pretty significant because um, I think we all need to trust each other in life. And when you lose someone's trust, um, it really sucks. So I can't stand people that don't tell the truth. Um, what makes me happy? What makes me happy is hearing my grandbabies laugh. When I hear those kids laugh, and I'm talking from their bellies, just laugh. Um that just gives me the greatest joy in the world. What is a fangirling? I have no freaking idea. What are my three favorite snacks? Lay's potato chips, dark chocolate, and I love to snack on hummus. Pretty easy. What are my three favorite foods? Well, number one, I am such a carnivore. I'm telling you, I am a meat lover. And I also love seafood. So I love steak. And I love my steak mooing. I like it rare. Rare, rare, rare. I love lobster tail. One of my favorites. And one of my favorite foods, um, and it's a comfort food, I love my mom's butter noodles. I don't know what it is. I, I've watched her make them all my life. I try and make plain, they're just plain old buttered egg noodles. There's just nothing better than when my mom makes them. That simple. It's a comfort food for me. Um, it just makes me feel good when I have my mom's butter noodles. Um, what are my three favorite drinks? Number one, I love my coffee. Um, that's the first thing I do when I get up in the morning. I'm going to tell you a secret, and don't give me a hard time about this. But my favorite thing to do is to get up in the morning, have a cup of coffee and a cigarette. Yes, I smoke. I don't want to hear it. We're all going to die. I'm going to die happy. So I don't want to hear it. But anyway, um, yeah, coffee, Dr. Pepper, and I love, love, love. Uh, a nice glass of sweet wine, sweet red wine, soft, sweet red wine. Love it. Um, 
to me, there's nothing better um, on a Saturday night than kicking my feet up and with some friends and, and splitting a bottle of wine. <laughs> Maybe we should have our own bottle of wine. We won't go there. Um, but those are my two favorite drinks. All right. Ten random facts about me. I am a Hoosier transplant. Uh, we moved here to the great Hoosier state in 2005. I was born and raised in Cleveland, Ohio. And um, yeah, my husband got transferred and we moved out here uh, from Cleveland. So there's that. Um, myself and my entire family, meaning my husband and my two boys, and, and we're grooming those grandbabies too. We are huge football fans. Um, huge Ohio State Buckeye fans. Um, go figure, we're from Ohio. Um, so yes, we just, but it's like, and plus my, my son coaches high school football. So gotta love it. Um, I've been married 30, it'll be 31 years in August to the love of my life. Um, I love that he supports me and, um, well, first I love that he loves me unconditionally and God knows I've put him through the ringer over the years. Um, and you know, we've had some ups and downs, more ups than downs, and he's my best friend, and I'm really lucky to have him, and I like to think he's kind of lucky to have me. Um, I have three kids. I have two sons, and I have one stepdaughter, and um, the, I, I love the, all three of them. They're just, they are my joy. I have three grandbabies, um, two girls and a boy. I have Chloe. Liam and Penelope. So, um, yeah, so that's, I love my grandbabies. Unfortunately, they don't all live in this area. Penelope and Pen Chloe and Penelope just live a couple streets away, but Liam lives in Ohio. So we don't get to see him as often as we would like. Um, but love him all the same. He's just so stinking cute. Um, I work with um, special needs kids. I work with kids with very profound disabilities. And that is a passion of mine um, to be able to, um, to be able to give a voice to those who, who don't have one um, is really, really important to me. Um, I just, it, and I, you know, I've worked with, you know, with the gen ed population and, um, that's great, you know, but to me, my passion is, is profound special needs. Something about it. I don't know. Either you're meant for it or you're not. And I'm one of those people, I guess, that's meant for it. It's, I've done it for over 20 years and, um, I can't see myself doing anything else but that unless I'm crafting. Um, I want to move to Florida. Um, I'm, I'm done with winters and cold weather and snow. Um, I want to move to Florida. So as soon as my husband is able to retire about five to seven years, um, I'm going to sell this place and move to Florida. Um, I have rheumatoid arthritis. Um, I don't make a big deal about that. Um, I try not to complain about it too much, but it's, it's who I am. It's part of me. Um, I don't let it define me though. You know, I know some people it's like, Oh, Oh, my rheumatoid arthritis, my rheumatoid arthritis, you know? And, and I do say sometimes in my videos that, you know, God, I'm having a flare up. My hands are really hurting right now. Um, it's frustrating when I can't open a bottle of water because I don't have any strength in my hands or my hands are just hurting so badly that I can't. Um, it's kind of getting to that point um, sometimes when I'm having a flare up. But you know what? The the more you move, the better you're going to feel. And that's what my doctors have always told me. And um, and that's what I do. If you stop moving, your, your joints are going to freeze. So I just keep moving and I keep doing the best I can. Stairs are starting to get kind of hard for me. Um, so you just take it one day at a time. And, uh, let me see. I'm a two-time cancer survivor. 
been cancer free for about two years. And I do have depression and, and anxiety. Um, but I, try, again, I try not to let that define me. And yes, I do take meds for it. Um, it's just like if you're a diabetic, um, you have to take your insulin. Well, if you have depression, you have anxiety, there's meds for it. It, you know, it's a chemical imbalance in your brain. There's nothing wrong with you to say, I have depression. And, uh, you know, I, I have a love, I have a fantastic family. I have, you know, a wonderful husband. I have loving kids. Um, they're all successful in life and, you know, I have anything and everything I could ever want in life. And people say, well, why, why are you, what do you have to be depressed about? Well, you know, it's hereditary. And my dad suffered from depression. My sister, my brother, you know, my the whole family, you know, my, my uncles, I mean, it's, it's just, it's hereditary and it scares me for my kids that, um, that they, they will go through depression. I went through a very, very serious depression, um, that lasted probably two years, almost three, um, to where I was actually almost ha practically housebound from it. Um, so I, I guess I'm a survivor of that too. But um, I still have trouble leaving my comfort zone. Um, and that's more not so much the house, but the comfort zone of the area. And I really, I really had to learn to get over that fast when we moved from Ohio to Indiana. And it was, and I knew nothing. I knew nothing about the state. I knew nothing about anybody here. It was literally my husband, myself, my two kids and our dog. That's all I had. I cried for weeks, but then it's turned out to be the best thing that ever happened to us. Um, I wouldn't trade the state. I wouldn't trade it for anything in the world. Um, but, um, I just hate to leave my comfort zone. So sometimes I need to really push myself to do that. I need a drink of Dr. Pepper. Okay. Um, moving on. What are three fun things that I like to do? I love to go to the beach. I love bonfires in the backyard. And I love to go out with our friends. And I love to find a little um, pub or some restaurant with an outside patio. And to just sit outside and enjoy um, their company. I, lo we lo I love to go out and just... You know, we don't necessarily have to go out and drink. Even if I'm just having an iced tea, I just love to be outside on a patio. Um, what best describes where I live? It's the great Midwest. I live in Indianapolis, Indiana. Um, outside of Indianapolis, actually. Um, my backyard is a cornfield. For now, they're in the process, of, like, to the left of me. The cornfield got tore down and they're putting in a housing addition. So I have a feeling this is the last year we're going to have corn in our backyard. I think so we'll probably have new houses back there, which means I'm probably going to move. <laughs> um, what is my crafty style? My crafty style, I would have to say, is vintage. Um, whether I was scrap, whether I'm scrapbooking or doing a card. Um, or a mixed media piece, I am really drawn to the a vintage style. I love the old the old feel to it. Um, what is my most used crafty tool? I have to say my Cricut. Um, I do use it a lot, and that was a really hard hard because you know what? I have so many crafty tools. I think as as crafters, I mean that's part of crafting is collecting tools. Um, what's my most wished for crafty tool? Um, I love stamps. I love texture stamps. I love, um, stamp. Yeah, I, I, I can't, I would, I want more stamps. Um, my favorite craft brand would have to be Prima, but they are kind of pricey. I love their paper. I love their embellishments. 
Um, I don't buy so much of their media products. As a matter of fact, I've never bought any of their media products um, because I'd rather stick to their paper and their embellishments. Um, just my personal um, thing. What is my favorite craft? Mixed media. Um, I do enjoy scrapbooking. I do have some scrapbooks that I really need to get done. Um, but I just, it, you know, I get into this, my studio in here and I just want to get my hands dirty. You know, um, I haven't had a good weekend unless I'm going to work on Monday with, you know, paint that I can't get off my hands. Um, do I have any pets? Yes, I have a beautiful mutt. Her name is Sophie. And, um... I'm surprised she's actually being quiet, but usually every time I turn on the video recorder, the whatever, to tape, she starts barking. And she'll bark at anything. It could be a leaf falling out of a tree or someone walking down the street. She barks. Um, when is my favorite time to craft? My favorite time to craft is either A, when nobody's home, or B, um, after everyone's gone to bed. Because... That way I have time, I have peace and quiet to get inside my brain to just to let, just to let the day go and the worries of the day to just let them go. And I come in here and just start to create. So that's um, my favorite time. Um, when people are here at home, I sometimes feel guilty because I feel like I should be doing something with them when I really want to just be in my craft room. Um, but yeah, either when nobody's home or when everybody's sleeping. I'm going to turn the page because I've got, I had to write these down. Do I have a favorite non-crafty YouTube channel? Nope. I don't watch anything non-crafty. Uh, I do, though, enjoy watching um, music videos. Um, what is my favorite store? I have to say Michael's. And if I'm going for clothes, I really enjoy Kohl's. They're pretty much middle of the road. What is my favorite restaurant? My favorite restaurant has got to be Texas Roadhouse. They have the best raspberry margarita in town. So that that's one of my favorite places. Do I have a favorite magazine? Nope. Don't really read magazines. Um... Do I have a favorite author? Nope. Um, what are my favorite shoes? Nope. My favorite thing is to be barefoot. I can't stand socks and shoes on my feet. I hate it. Um, you know, I have to wear tennis shoes to work because um, I wear scrubs. But, um, you know, um, I do enjoy flip-flops in the summer, but I, you know what? I trip on them and then I fall flat on my face and that's not a good thing. Um, and what is my favorite time of year right now? Summertime. I'm a summertime girl. I love it. I love the summer. Um, so that's my get to know me video. Um, there's really not much more to learn from that, I guess. You pretty much know me like a book now. But um, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. If you want to give me a thumbs down, don't. Just don't watch me again. Um, but anyway, I hope you all have a really great day. And please don't forget, I'm really having a hard time with my words today. So I'm going to end it by saying, please make sure that you give someone you love a hug today. Have a great night.